Welcome back to Server Assist, assisting you in your survey journey. So we've got a lineup builder for you today, plus my live results in the current game week. And there's a lot to get through this week, I've got a competition to tell you guys about, we've got terminated contracts to deal with, and a couple of injuries of some of my key players. Before all that though, welcome any new managers and returning managers to my channel Server Assist, where you'll find plenty of survey content to get stuck into. Each month I'll be doing a monthly giveaway. For the month of March, I'm giving away Rio Hatate. To enter, you need to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below. At the end of the month, I'll pick a random video posted in March and random select a comment, and that person will win that month's card. So the more videos you comment on, the more entries you will have. I'll announce the winner right here at the end of the month, so stay tuned. If you found this video useful then please turn that like button blue and share this content and please try and watch all the way through to the end to please those YouTube algorithms. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and for more free Sora content please check out SoraAssist.com. Also become a patron of Sora Assist for budget play scouting and a free 100 page Ultimate Guard Sora ebook. Links to all this good stuff are in the description. If you've not signed up to Sora yet then sign up using the link below to get 13 common cards and a free limited card. Using these links also helps support the channel and future content. None of this content is financial advice. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get stuck into today's content then. As I say, it's going to be another lineup builder and we'll kick things straight off with, with the live results from the current game week, which is game week 249. So I've only got a couple of teams to tell you guys about. I've got the All-Star Limited Sad, who was 43 points away from a tier 3. Got Sung Ryong and Gold didn't keep a clean sheet. Hatate didn't have the best of games, but he still managed to get 52 with the clean sheet points. Hal Hauser come off the bench. Cecina had a decent game, scored 52, didn't get a goal or assist though. And Dimao had a quiet game, didn't score or get an assist. So he got a very low score and he was my captain. All star rare team, as we know, Bodart didn't start, looks like he's been dropped at the dropped at the moment. Nagato come off the bench. Lozano had a poor game, only 29 points. Valdez started things off fantastically. He scored 85 points, 91 with bonus. As we say, Tata had a quiet game. He was my captain. So I didn't get any card rewards there, but I did get the ETH threshold of 0.01 because I've got over 200 points. So not all bad. That was the only teams due to the limited fixtures. So let's move on to the lineup builder then. A few things to get through here, a few lineups, and of course, we have got the special weekly this week as well for game week 250. And this is part of the special weekly series that Surbear are doing as part of the scouting season. As you can see here, game week 250 is the underdog 250 special weekly. So, in this competition, all scarcity is its commons are allowed and a max average score of 45 for your players. So that's a, a max score of 45 in the last five games. These are the prizes on offer, which is absolutely fantastic. Don't forget there's no XP bonuses as well in the special weeklies. And some of the prizes on offer are absolutely fantastic. So you could potentially win a unique card with by using limited cards. Because don't forget, any scarcities are allowed in this division. So if you've got any players that have got an average of less than 45, make sure you get them entered into the special weekly this week. So I'm going to start with my champion Europe limited side then. I will be keeping an eye on this last five score as well, just to keep in mind for the limited, for the special weekly tournament that I do want to enter the, this week for definite. So the only champion Europe player I've got this week is Sergio Herrera. So I will put him in. He's got an average score of 59 as well, so he wouldn't be eligible for the special weekly anyway. So in terms of the defenders i've got albert quadrado also got guerrera as well of the first choice players quadrado looks like the best shout he's got an average of 56 as well so he won't be eligible for the special weekly uh, and he did actually come on as a sub in the cup game so i would have thought he would start this game so i am actually going to go with quadrado there absolutely fantastic player in terms of midfielders we've got luis alberto away to away to Cagliari. We've also got Pau Gomez, but I believe he's actually injured for this game, so I'm not going to consider him. We've got Max Miller-Arnold as well as an option. Salamakas probably won't start. Souza is still injured. So there's only really 
Alberto or Arnold as a choice here. And I think I'm going to actually go with Alberto because that looks like an easier fixture to me than Maximala Arnold's match. So I'm going to go with Alberto in the midfield slot there. In terms of the forwards then, we've got Alexandra Plea and we've also got Aspas as well. So I think I'm going to go with Aspas here. He seems to have the most favourable fixture. Extra slot is going to be between Plea or Jordi Alba as well as an option and also Maximilla Arnold. Plea has been an absolutely fantastic form at the moment. So I am going to actually go with Alexandra Plea here. Of course I could potentially use Jordi Alba in my All-Star team. So in terms of the captain then, Quadrado is tempting. They've got a very easy fixture. He's, he's very capable of getting some really good scores. Uh, but I think Aspas is probably due a goal. He's not scored in the last few games. They've got a pretty easy fixture as well at home to Mallorca. So I am going to go with Aspas as my captain here. I will save that. And now I'm going to move on to my Challenger Europe Limited. So in terms of the goalkeeper, it's going to be an obvious choice here. Although I do have Lung as well as an option. But his last five is pretty atrocious. So he could be an option in goal. I think he is still going to be the option of a Bayezit. Although Bayezit was out the last game due to COVID. Lung was out previously to an injury. But I think Lung is still probably going to be the first choice there. But he's going to... Probably be a good option for the special weekly. So I'm going to go with Akinviv here. CSK Moscow. Look to have an easy fixture at home. Defender wise. I think this is going to be an obvious choice. Although with the situation in Russia, Ukraine. I don't know if that's going to affect the Zenit side. Play, there's quite a few players that could potentially terminate the contract. Um, including Douglas Santos. But if that wasn't going on then he would be my first choice there out of Senesi. And out of Senesi, Atate, and also Katabach. So I think I'm going to go with Santos here. I will keep an eye on the news, of course, was with the development in terms of the players tearing at the contracts and that sort of thing. But I will check the lineups at the last minute before the deadline. If everything goes to plan, he would be my first choice. In terms of the midfielders, then, so I've got a Samansky here, it was another one potentially affected by the. Uh, potential termination of contracts. I've also got Spertsian as well, who could benefit, who probably will definitely start this game actually, for Krasnodar, because it's rumoured that Krachawiak is potentially leaving the club, and Cabela is not returning to the squad as well, uh, due to the goings on in Ukraine. So, Spatian should definitely get his opportunity here in the side, so he's a definite option. Although he could also slot into my under-23 team as well, of course. I've got Bacasetas, who's been on terrible form at the moment. And they've got quite a difficult game away to Venabachi. I've also got Pizzi as well. He's an option, potentially. Hal Hauser's been starting off the bench recently, so he's likely not to start. I've also got Sari as a potential option. Pizzi looks like the favourite here. Besiktas is on, like I say, terrible form. Mercy has got a fairly difficult fixture away, but he's always got a chance of getting a good score. I think I might actually go with Mercy here, because he does seem to have the easier fixture out of all the Challenge Europe midfielders that I've got. So I am going to go with Mercy in the midfield slot there. In terms of the forwards, Malcolm, again, is one that I'm going to definitely go with here. Again, it's one that I'm going to keep an eye on in terms of the contract termination options in the Russian League. And Dejube is the other option as well up front. In terms of the captain then, I'm going to actually go with Malcolm here. He's capable of getting assists and goals. And also his AA score is good. Dejube is obviously capable of scoring. But if he doesn't score, his, his, um, his points are usually pretty poor. So I will go with Malcolm as my captain. That team looks pretty solid. As I say, I will keep an eye on the situation in Russia. So we'll save that. Uh, move on now to the under 23 limited. So in goal, it's only going to be one option, and that is Tani here. Defenders, got Damien Fernandez, but he only been playing as a sub really recently. Did score a brilliant, did get a brilliant score though when he came on as a sub. Lee Han Boom has actually been playing for so for FC Seoul, so he's a potential option, although they've not got the easiest fixture. Winchdal is actually suspended for this game, I believe, so I'm not going to consider him. Atate is an option as well. And I've also got Katabach away to Laguana. So that's not an easy game. 
But I've also got Navarro here as an option. They're at home to Orlando. They didn't get a bad score in the last game. But obviously Chicago not the best defensively. I've also got Tolkien as an option. Got Nishio as well. At home to Tokyo. Well, those last two scores have been really rubbish. I've also got George Campbell here as an option as well. For Atlanta. But again they've got a difficult fixture away to Colorado. Well, this is a tough choice actually. I think I'm going to go with Atate though here actually. Although his last five is last five's poor, so he could be an option for the special weekly. I might actually go with Catabatch. I know they've got a difficult fixture, but he's potentially going to get a lot of um, tackles and inceptions and that sort of thing in this game. So he could get a a triple triple or something like that to to boost his points. So I am going to go with Catabatch here. I'm going to go with Catabatch. In terms of midfield then, I think this is going to be an obvious choice as long as the situation in um, Russia doesn't sort of intensify. And I'm going to go with Szymanski in midfield. And in the extra slot, I'm going to go with Zakarayan in the extra slot there. And the forward, I think there's only a couple of options here. There's Jesus Ferreira. Also potentially Machino, but he's been coming on as a sub. Did score in the last game, but it's probably going to be a sub in this game as well. Got Alasida again, he's been coming on as a substitute. Ohio's been starting, but he's not really been scoring. Nelson started the last game as well for Toronto, but they've got a difficult fixture there. So I am going to go with Jesus Ferreira here. He's due a better game. And in terms of the captain, I'm going to go with Szymanski as my captain. So I'll save that. So we'll move on to the America Limited side. So goalkeepers then. I've got Brad Kazan and Andre Blake. I'm going to go with Blake here. And then my defender. I'm going to go with Wagner. And that's going to give me the Philadelphia defensive stack. Tens midfielders then. It's going to be an obvious choice here. Carlos Gill. I pick him no matter who they're playing. Because he's always going to score you good points. Uh, forward then we've got Johnny Russell here for Kansas and also Javier Hernandez as an option. Raul Rodriguez is still injured by the sounds of things. So I'm going to go with Johnny Russell here. So in terms of the extra slot, it's going to be between Javier Hernandez and Mihailovic. I think I'm going to go with Hernandez here because he does seem to be on good form. I've also got De La Cruz as an option as well. But he could slot into my all-star team. Ladero, he's an option. Away to Salt Lake City. I think I'm going to go with a midfielder here. Just, I think I'm going to go with De La Cruz here actually. Because they've got quite an easy fixture away to 12th place. And they are all done favourite for that game. In terms of the captain, it's an easy choice. I'm going to go with Callas Gill. So I will save that team. I'll move on to my Asia team then. So mid goalkeeper. Only one option here. Jung Ryong Seung. And defence. I'm going to go with a fantastic Fukumori as always. Midfield, now I feel we'll have to go with Kaneko here because Bikaram has been out the last two games, he's not been in the squad, so I can only guess he's got an injury. So I'm going to have to go with Kaneko in this match here. Forward, again, it's gonna. I'm going to go with Dimao, easy choice, and Sassina in the extra in the extra slot. Then two are always capable of getting the score sheet. In terms of the captain, I'm going to go with Dimao again. They are away. But they, they, they look like the odds-on favourite there. So I'm going to go with DeMau. It's probably due a goal. So I'm just going to move on to my all-star limited side. So in terms of the goal is, I've got Lung. But obviously he's going to be a consideration for my special weekly. So I'm going to go with Brad Guzan here. In defence, we've got the Jordi Alba. We've also got Senesi as well. So we've got some good... Def and Fukumori. Uh, Guerrero as well. So we've got a few defensive options here. But I'm going to go with Senesi. They've got an easy fixture at home. Midfield, Carlos Gale is the easy option there. Up front, I'm going to go with Javier Hernandez. And in the extra slot, in the extra slot, I've got Jordi Alba as a possibility away. I've also got Mihailovic as well, but they're playing Philadelphia, and obviously that's going to potentially affect my Philadelphia defensive stack. I've got Mercy as an option. Fukumori, Sobolov, Matate as well. Blanco is still getting back to fitness, so I'm not expected to start there. Like I say, Spetsian could start this game. Also got Arnold and Guerrero. Bacasetas, poor form at the minute. Ladero as well, he's, he's definitely an option. So I think it's going to be between Ladero and Alba. I'm going to go with Ladero. Does he expect to start this game? Fantastic player. 
I'm going to go with Ladira there. In terms of the captain, I'm going to go with Kales Gill. So I will save that. I'm just going to go to the special weekly. Just want to see what players we've got left here. Just going to have a look at the goalkeepers. I'm just going to order them by last five as well. Now I need to obviously do my rare teams as well here. So I'm going to just do show picked. Just going to look at the options in terms of the last five scores below 45. So we've obviously got Lung there. Clisson's injured. And I've not used any of the other keepers. So in terms of the keeper, it's going to be the easy choice. I've only got one to choose from. And that is Lung. Defenders. Again, I'll order it by last five. Just to see who's eligible. Winstall suspended. I've got Kai Wagner there. I've got a rare and a limited of his card. I probably want to keep him in my America team, to be fair. I've got Nishio here as an option. But home to Tokyo, they are the slight favourites. I've also got Atate. Atate could be an option. Actually, so could Paolo Diaz. I've got Hata as well for Warrell. They didn't play the last game, so he's probably not expected to start that. Navas could start this game against... Deportivo Alaves. I think I'm actually going to go with um, Nishio here for Seresta Saka. I'm going to go with Nishio. He is better of capable of scores and hopefully they can get a clean sheet against FC Tokyo. They are the slight favourites as well. So I am going to go with Nishio in the defensive slot there. So let's have a look at what midfielders I've got available. So I've got Koneko, who's obviously in my Asia side. A bit Garam, but I don't think he's going to play. I've got Cirillo, who actually started the first game for Dallas, but they've got a difficult fixture. Got Pochettino for River Plate, but I don't think he's going to play. I've also got Pellegrini here as well, actually, for Roma. Now, he could be a consideration, because I've not actually got a rare goalkeeper this week. Ozdiev might get his opportunity here, potentially, especially if some of the Zenit players terminate the contract. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to go with Pellegrini here. I'm going to go with Pellegrini there. He is due to get a goal. He hasn't scored or assisted for quite a while now. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go with Pellegrini there. In terms of the forwards then, who we've got left? Again, I'll order it by the last five. Making sure I'm picking players that are below 45. So I've got Jumin Q here. But I'd probably want to use him in my rare team. I've got Tate as an option though. That could be that could be one that I might go for. I've got Jesus Ferreira as well. But he's probably going to go in my America side. With Raul Radios being injured. Alexis Sanchez, but I don't think he's going to start that game. Furuhashi is still injured. So I'm going to go over Tate. I'm going to go over Tate there. Hopefully he finds his form at Celtic and gets a goal or something. And in terms of the extra slot then. So Winslow is out. Kaneko's in one of my teams. Big I'm not expected to start. Minkyu I want to stay, save for my um, Asia team. Uh, Cirillo has got an hard game. I'm tempted to go with Pablo Diaz here, actually, for River Plate. They were away. I would expect him to have a good game there. Yeah, I'm going to go with Pablo Diaz here. Although I could use him in my America team. Yeah, I'm going to go with Pablo Diaz in that extra slot. So I think this team looks pretty solid, actually, for the special weekly. Nishio is maybe the weakest link. Uh, but they have got a chance of getting a clean sheet at home to FC Tokyo. Uh, hopefully we'll start. In terms of the captain... Going to go with Pellegrini as the captain. Tate's not been played a regular 90 minutes, so I want the player to be on the field as long as possible, whoever my captain is. So I am going to go with Pellegrini. I would have thought he'd play the full game there. Hopefully get on the score sheet. We're home to Atlanta. Not the easiest game, but Atlanta do concede a lot of goals. So I am going to go with Pellegrini there. So I'll save that. And now I'm going to move on to my rare teams. So the Champion Europe Rare is not going to happen because I've not got a Champion Europe um, goalkeeper. Well, I, could use a, I could use a common card, I suppose. But I'm going to start with my Challenger Europe Rare team first. So a goalkeeper then, that's an easy choice. Akin Viv. Defender, again, I'm going to go with Douglas Santos. I will obviously keep an eye on the situation in Russia. Now, midfielders, Cabela and Krachowiak are obviously potentially going to leave Krasnodar. They're not currently... Um, I know Cabela's not returned to the squad yet and Krachowiak is after terminating his contract I've got Oblayakov here as an option for CSK Moscow which obviously same team as um, Akinviv I've got Sarri as a possibility and Pizzi as well but I'm actually going to go with Oblayakov because they have got an easy, easy fixture so that looks good to me and in terms of the forward I'm going to go with Dezuba and the extra slot I'm going to go with Deviv. 
He's actually he actually scored two goals in his last game in the cup game. Um, to, uh, so he's definitely not going to score any in this game, but uh, hopefully he can keep a clean sheet. And I've got the nice defensive stat there. I've also got a player call for CSK Moscow as well. So it looks like I'm going to be cheering on two teams this weekend in the Russian League. And that is Zenit and CSK Moscow. Term of the, terms of the captain, I'm going to go with Douglas Santos. And I will save that. So that looks pretty solid to me, that sad. So under 23 sad, I'm likely not going to have a team this week on the in the Rares. So the America sad... In goal, I'm going to go with Brad Kazan. Midfield, defence, I'm going to go with Wagner. Obviously, Diaz is in my special weekly. Although, Ababakar has got a quite an easy fixture as well. But I am going to go with Wagner there in defence. Midfield, Ruznak is an option. Valdez as well. Both got a similar fixture. Blanco is still working his way back to fitness. Not expect to start. Also got Lewis Morgan as an option as well. But I think in this instance, I am going to go with Rusnak. Keep my faith in him. He's been quiet. He's had a quiet start to his life at Seattle, but I expect him to perform better. In terms of the forwards, I've only got one option here, and that's going to be Ferreira, because Raul Rodriguez and Polito are both, of course, injured. Extra slot then. So, I've got Valdez, Babacar, Lewis Morgan as well as Tempting. I'm going to go with Lewis Morgan here with Toronto. I think he's capable of getting some good scores. Now he's playing a more attacking role in terms of the captain then i'm going to actually go with rusnak i think he is due to have a good game for seattle i'll save that so that is my america lineup sorted asia rare then in terms of the goalkeeper it's an easy choice here the only statement i've got is dong defender is going to be the fantastic fukumori midfield i've got big garam or aguila as we know big garam doesn't seem to be in the squad recently i don't know what's happened there potential injury so I'm going to have to go with Aguila. Forward, I'm going to go with Min Kyu. And in the extra slot, I'm going to go with Magoza. So I've got a bit of an itching stack there. And so I've got three players from Itching United there. So hopefully they'll have a good, good um, game. In terms of the captain, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Min Kyu. He is due a goal. They're the favourites. And I will save that. So now on to my All-Star Rare then. In terms of the goalies, I've only got one left, and that is Bond. Defender, I'm going to go... Oh, no, I've got Leo Dubious here as well, actually. But I could potentially put a Champion Europe side together as well. So I'm going to go with a Babacar, because he's got a good fixture as well, actually. In terms of the midfield, then, I've got Mkhitaryan as an option, but I might save him for my Champion Europe side. I'm just going to tick this one. Just going to take, take away the players that I've already picked. I've got Pizzi as an option as well. Lozano as well. And, and I've also got Valdez. I'm going to go with Pizzi here. Up front, we've got Aspas, so I might want to save for my Champion Europe side. Sanchez, I don't think he's going to start. Fukumori's is still injured. So I'm going to go with Sobolov here. And in the extra slot... I'm going to pick Diego Valdez. This team's looked pretty decent. Definitely capable of getting the threshold payment anyway. And I'm going to go with Pizzi as my captain. I will save that. And now I'm just going to look at my champion here at rare. Obviously I'm going to need to slot a common goalkeeper in here. But I'm just going to put Silicon in there for the purpose of this video. Defender. Looks like only potentially one choice. Got Navas as an option. But I'm going to go with Dubious. Midfielder Mkhitaryan. And forward Aspas. And the extra slot, I'm tempted to go with Sanchez just in case he does start. But I've also got Jesus Navas, but it's not 100% sure whether he's going to start or not. And he is currently on my for sale list. I'm going to go with um, Alexis Sanchez here. Bit of a risk, but if he does start, then there's a potential he could do very well here. So I'm going to also go with captain with him as well. Because if he doesn't start, there's a likelihood that this team is not going to win anything. If he does start, then there's a likelihood he's going to get a goal or an assist. So this team could do very well. So I'm going to save that. So that is saved. That is all my team saved there. Let's just have a look at a quick rundown of the saved lineups. I will, of course, go through all these, check any last-minute news, especially with the goings-on in Ukraine, just to make sure that most of my players are still set to play and have not terminated the contract or anything like that. So here is the All-Star Limited side then. Brad Kazan and goal. 
So in SU defence, we've got Captain Gill. We've also got Ladero making up the rest of the midfield and Hernandez up front. All-star rares looking like this with Bonding Goal, Ababakar in defence, Captain Pizzi, Valdez in midfield and Sobolev up front. Challenger Europe looks solid if they all stay at the club and that is Akaviv in goal, Santos in defence, Mercier up in the midfield and I've got Malcolm and Zuba up front with Malcolm as my captain. Challenger Europe rare, Akaviv in goal, Daviv in defence, Cisco and Moscow stack there with a blab with Ablayakov in midfield as well. I've also gone for Santos as the captain, and I've also got Dejuba up front for Zenit. Champion America Limited, I've got Blake and Wagner making the Philadelphia defensive stack, Gill as my captain, Dela Cruz in midfield, and Johnny Russell up front. Champion America Rare, Brad Gazan in goal, Wagner in defence, I've got the Rusnak as captain, and Lewis Morgan in midfield as well, and Jesus Ferreira up front. Champion Asia Limited, Rung Song Young in goal. I've also got Fukumura in defence with Kaneko in the same team there for Saparo. Got Captain Demau and Sasina up front as well. Champion Asia Rare, Kim Dong Hyung in goal. Fukumura in defence, Aguila and Magoza playing both for Ichin, of course. And I've got Captain Mingyu. Champion Europe Limited, Herrera in goal, Quadra Quadrado in defence. I've got Alberto in midfield and Aspas and play up front with Aspas being the captain. Champion Europe rare. Going to slot in a common goalkeeper there for Sillerson. Got Leo Dubius in defence. Mkhitaryan in midfield. Gone for Aspas and Sanchez up front. Hopefully Sanchez will start. I've also put him as my captain. Under 23 limited looks like this. Tanning in goal. Katabach in defence. Got Zakarian and Samansky in midfield. Samansky is my captain. I've also got Jesus Ferreira up front. It's the special weekly then. So this is the team that has to have a last five of below 45. I've gone for Lung in goal. Pablo Diaz in defence. Nishio in defence as well. I've got Pellegrini as my captain. And Atate up front for Celtic. So let's see how we we'll get on. I'm really looking forward to this week's game week. Especially with the special weekly as well. Let me know if you guys are entering the special weekly. Comment below. Obviously, that's going to get you your entry into the competition for March as well. And let me know if you know any news about the Russian teams and players that are potentially leaving or if these players that I've got here are expected to start. That is all for today, though. If you have any thoughts on today, today's video, then drop them in the comments below. If you like this video, then please smash that like button. And don't forget, each month I'll be doing a monthly giveaway. For the month of March, I'm giving away Rio Tate. To enter, you need to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below. At the end of the month, I'll pick a random video posted in March and random select a comment, and that person will win that month's rare card. I'll announce the winner right here on the channel, so make sure you stay tuned and ping that notification bell. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook, and for more free SoRare content, please check out SoRareAssist.com. Also become a patron of Sora Assist and grab yourself a 300 page Ulmagad Sora ebook. Links to all this good stuff are in the description. If you're not signed up to Sora yet, then sign up using the link below to get 13 common cards and a free limited card. Using these links also helps support the channel and future content. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.